So hi everybody and welcome to this week's video of RBX Excel videos. In this video I'm going to tell you all about sparklines in Excel. And sparklines are actually little charts within a cell. If you like the video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Please enjoy. So in this video I want to tell you all about the sparklines in Excel. Well what is a sparkline in Excel? A spark line is just a little chart within a cell. So it's not an actual chart in Excel, it's just a little chart in a cell. And I can show you how to insert this spark line. You see I have a table here with account managers, names and the sales value in Q1, 2, 3 and 4. And I can plot this information in the spark line very easily. I want a trend in this cell. I can select the cell, go to the insert tab on my ribbon, and here you see the little box with spark lines. I'm going for a line chart first, just click it, select the data range for my little chart and my cell. Well, that would be these four cells. The location range where you want the spark line to be placed is the cell I selected. It's automatically in here, H5. Click OK and you see I have a little chart in my cell. I can easily drag this down and I want to drag down without formatting. And you see I have copied my spark lines to all my account managers. When I select a cell with a spark line, I get a little extra menu on my ribbon, which is called spark line. And in here I can change, for example, the spark line type. I have a line at the moment, but I can also choose the column. You see I get little bar charts in my cell. You can also select the win-loss, but that's not applicable on my data right now. But that three types you can choose for your spark line. Well, when I select one of the cells with a spark line, you see Excel automatically places a blue line around all the cells with the spark lines here. It means Excel made a group of the spark lines. And you can see when I select one cell with a spark line, the group button in here is gray. You can ungroup them. I'm not going to do that for now, but that's an option for the spark lines. That also means that when I change a cell with a spark line, the change is applied on all the cells with sparkline in this group. So, for example, I can change the color of the sparkline. Just select one cell with a sparkline. You see the whole group is highlighted. And I can change the sparkline color, for example, to orange. You see my sparkline becomes orange. Another thing you can do is highlight the minimum and the maximum, for example. Click one of the cells with the sparkline. Go to the show menu on the sparkline ribbon and click high point and low point. You can change the colors for the high and the low points. Click the marker color and select at high point for example a green bar and click again on marker color and the low point a yellow color. That's also applicable when you have a line sparkline. So when I change the spark line to a line again, you see there are green dots on the high value and the yellow dots on the lowest value. So let's change this back to a bar. Select one of the cells with a spark line, go to the ribbon on the spark line menu, click column and you have columns again. Another thing I want to show you is the axis. You see the yellow bars are for the minimum. But the yellow bars are so small that you barely can't see them. And we can change that by changing the axis. Just select one cell with a spark line, go to your spark line menu and go to axis. I want to set minimum and maximum values for the vertical axis. And I can do that by clicking on axis in here. Here you have the vertical axis minimum value options. And I choose a custom value. And I want it to be zero. That's the default in here. Click OK. And you see my bars are getting bigger. You can do the same for the maximum value. Just select one cell with a spark line. Go to axis. And this menu is for the vertical axis maximum value. You can choose a maximum value by a custom value. And I want it here to be 
25,000. Click OK. Now the yellow bars for the minimum are also visible. So that's what I want to tell you about the spark lines in Excel. So that's it about spark lines in Excel. I hope you learned a lot from it and that you can create your own spark lines in your Excel files. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and really don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Thanks for watching.